Hello Pisces, Elsie here to do a reading for you. Pisces, it's a bonus reading. How are you, my friends? My two fishes friends, I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. Pisces, when I show up with a bonus reading, if you've been here before, if you're the ride or die, you know that I read for the current energy or the future energy. I don't intend on going into anything in the past. If it does show up, I'm going to acknowledge it, of course. I have to, that's my job. But I'm not going to spend any time in the past here. We are here to look at the um, energy that is current and future energy. And, uh, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with you and that's okay too. Maybe just click off here and go find um, something that has to do with your specific energy, something you resonate with. Let's find out what's going on for my Two Fishes tribe. Tell me about Pisces. I'm going to give you some energy for the week to start here, Pisces. Tell me what's going on for Pisces, please. Pisces, we have strength. We have the Leo energy here. We have the King of Cups. We have the High Priestess. It does feel like either you're holding yourself back from someone or someone's holding their feelings back from you. I want to say that even if, if this is you, I'm going to read it like from your point of view. It feels like you know that someone has feelings for you but you're hol they're holding their feelings back. And I feel like it's a bit confusing to you. So I feel like you go into this high priestess energy. That's your you, of course, right? That's Piscean energy. You go into this high priestess energy to check with the universe and say, what's going on? Because you're the person who's very close to the veil. You can see the veil behind her there. And um, we've got a lot of water that's going on behind her as well. So it feels like we know that this King of Cups here is somebody that I feel you have a connection to. The King of Cups is quite psychic, that's Scorpio energy, and the High Priestess is Pisces. So this is a, you know, the, the Pisces is, is the psychic energy, right? And and the King of, of Cups is psychic energy as well. It's water energy, right? We're in a general reading, so of course Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. We do some Leo energy here, but the Leo energy is telling me that someone is trying to use all of their brute strength to hold themselves back from telling you how they're feeling. It feels like wherever they are is very tumultuous, very, sorry, very tumultuous, very deep, and um, they're keeping it there. They're not showing you. It's like, you know, the fish are jumping about. We can see that there's, there's um, a lot of little white caps here. And it feels like somebody's keeping themselves steady and sturdy as it goes. And I feel like you, you can feel something, but you don't know why this person is not acting on it. Tell me more. Tell me more about Pisces. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody is in a block. They're trying to find the courage to take control of the situation. I feel like somebody's holding their tongue and not telling you how they feel. The Two of Swords tells me that somebody, it feels like they feel if they say something to you, Pisces, that it's just going to open the floodgates and then they're, they're going to lose control of the situation. This does feel like somebody wants to pursue you, but they want to do it really slowly. The Two of Swords tells me that they're scared to get hurt, that they're someone who no longer believes what they see. The eyes are covered. I don't want to see it because I've seen it before. And whether that person is beautiful, handsome, good looking, whatever they are, that doesn't matter a hill of beans. This person is like, I want to feel them out uh, before I decide uh, to put down my swords here. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups can be a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, but please understand it can be the way that someone is acting. You don't have to be a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer to be kind of stoic on the surface and hold yourself back from telling somebody how you feel. It could be any sign. We've got Aquarius and Leo here as well. We've got the Magician. <laughs> Very interesting. So somebody here I feel is like throwing up smoke screens a little bit. I want to say they're throwing up smoke screens, that they do have all the tools. And I feel that you're right. Somebody does have some pretty deep feelings for you, but they're being kind of standoffish, I want to say. Um, that they're, they're manifesting or dreaming the emotions to come into life. You can see that the, the Magician is pointing to the 5D, also pointing to the 3D. And so it feels like somebody here is feels like they want to go slow because that's Scorpio for sure. Scorpio is very strategic and slow and uh, makes decisions, you know, not quickly at all. And I feel like this person is like, you know what, if it's for me, it'll still be there when I come back. It feels very, um, 
Yeah, it feels very emotionally available sort of energy. Emotionally intelligent is what it feels like. Somebody's like, you know, I'm not going to go crashing into anybody's life. I don't want to create codependency with this person. So they must really like you. Like when they do get a little bit standoffish, it feels like, and I, I don't feel that they're doing anything to make you feel bad, but I feel like it's, um they're being quiet and they're moving slowly. And I feel like that is sort of... Um, because they value your time, your energy, your psychic energy. I feel like that they're moving slowly toward you here. But you you know what's going on, Pisces. I feel like you know what's going on already. The sun is here, at the high priestess, which tells me that you're having breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough as you're in your meditations, thinking to yourself. You have a knowing that something really good, happy, and fun is about to arrive. And I feel like you're right. I feel it too. Growth is about to come here. I feel like you're about to hit a really big growth patch. So, sp you know, specifically spiritual growth, right? Because we do have the high priestess here. Uh, spiritual growth, um, professional, personal growth, possibly. Maybe growth in your health. But there are breakthroughs that will be coming here. I love when the magician is next to the sun. Because it's almost like you can, you can intuitively or psychically see everything that this person is about and they don't know that you can see it so i think that you're going to let them move as slow as they need to move We've got justice in the reverse we've got the ten of swords yeah sometimes we don't know what's going on on the side of the other person like the other person could be you know still healing from a very big loss maybe losing a person to the other realm or maybe losing a relationship something this person is trying to release i feel um so that might be why it's slowing down as well they're not exactly sure if this will end up in heartbreak we do have the justice card holding one sword right and then we have two swords that's three swords am i going to be disappointed if i don't hold back it feels like somebody here wants to get to know you more but it's almost like they are, yeah, they're just sort of, I'm seeing my mind's eye, my, my guide Charlie is showing me somebody who's kind of pushing the door open a little stick in their nose in, you know, like a person, you know, those apartments that they have the thing across the door and you can only open it so much and the person's nose is there in the door. That's what I'm seeing. So it's like somebody's just sort of opening the door just a little bit because I feel like somebody here is still trying to heal whatever mental wounds they have gone through in the past here we have the page of wands i feel like they're going to call you i feel like you're going to get a text or that somebody does want to open up a, a communication with you the reason that they're taking so long is because i feel like they see long-term potential in you pisces so i would say cool your jets sit back let whoever it is pursue you if that's what they want to do and you're okay with them doing that. Whether I don't know who you are, whether you're feminine or masculine, it's usually the masculines that want to pursue, but not always, right? Um, but um, I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is telling me that somebody here really values your time. They value your perspective. They value, like it feels like you found someone who really does believe that you have psychic energy, who really does believe that you have a knowing. It feels like somebody sees you as someone who is incredibly abundant, like really abundant. <laughs> I want to say with the sun here and the Ten of Pentacles, they see a clear road with you and that's why they're moving slowly because anything that's worth is having is worth waiting for. So this person I feel is going to communicate with you. And I feel like... um they just sort of want to pop in and out of your life, maybe to see how you're reacting to that. Because look, there are some people who are codependent. And if you text somebody and then don't text them for a week, they're automatically going to think you're the devil. And I don't think that you're in that energy. I think that this person is sort of coming here and testing you just a little bit. I feel like you will get some communication, though. Tell me what else we need to know about Pisces, please. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Cups. And we've got the chariot, which is a seven. Very interesting. Yeah, it does feel like things are going to move along. And I think that they're going to move along sooner than you think. Because I feel like this person is, is getting everything that they want in balance. You know what I mean? It feels like with the ten of swords. Somebody here might be healing an old, an old uh, wound. An old emotional wound from an old relationship. Or maybe this is, like I said, someone passed away. Maybe they lost a job. Whatever it is, the Ten of Swords is painful and I need to release it. So I feel like somebody's in the midst of releasing their emotions and releasing their magic. And somebody is getting back into the swing of things. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like 
Um, for, for somebody here, I just want to go on a si side note here and say, I feel like you don't like your job. I feel like whatever it is, you're not getting justice in your job. And it feels like the place of work might be holding back, like not giving you the promotion or not giving you the raise or maybe giving you an acting position and not um, not paying you for it, right? Corporations like to do that all the time. They give, they think if they give you a title, they can just overuse you. And um, although you're, you know, they're saving money because the person who left or whatever, uh, they're not paying them the top dollar anymore, that you'll just slide into their shoes and, and take over the position without getting the finances for it. So I feel like you're feeling unappreciated and you're thinking about leaving a job. Some of you here are at this two of swords and not really sure if I should do it, but trying to gain the strength and holding back, biting my tongue, not really saying anything, but I don't feel like I'm getting any justice there. So it feels like for some of you here, we might be looking at someone who's really good at what they do. I want to say that you're probably like a subject matter expert or you're somebody who's top notch at what you do. You're very careful. You're very much about details. You're a good leader and I feel like you're very practical with your time and I feel like you're not being treated as you feel that you should. So it does feel like somebody here is going to be disconnecting or leaving um, a job possibly. It feels like the magician tells me that you, if this is a job that we're looking at here, it does feel like somebody here has been manifesting something new and I think it's going to arrive because something exciting is about to arrive right whenever the knight of pentacles or sorry the page of pentacles is here it's about um, a new path or exciting information that's arriving or exciting communication that's arriving so it does feel like whatever's arriving is going to give you great balance and that you are going to be then moving quickly speeding to the um the next place, I want to say. Uh, the chariot is about uh, victory. It's about moving quick. It's the quickest moving energy in the tarot. And then we quickly move to the Ten Pentacles. So for those of you, if you're looking at this in terms of a business reading or something to do with your work, I feel like if you've decided that you're going to leave and you're pulling away from there now, that you are going to get um, maybe you already have gotten communication from a new place, but it's going to be great because the sun is here and the chariot's here as well. So everything starts to move really quickly forward really quickly here. It feels like somebody here is, um, uh, uh, we're going back to this emotional stuff that I was talking about here. Somebody here is... I feel um, releasing some things in their life and working really hard on themselves and maybe that they are showing up as kind of aloof or detached or stoic on the surface because they're practicing uh, removing themselves from things that make them too overly emotional. So you might be dealing with someone who's maybe a, an air sign or someone who's an earth sign, someone who's a little more logical. Tell me more. We have the, um, we have the star energy kind of love it here um, up against this eight of pentacles because whether this is um, a job that you're leaving I feel like they're going to really feel it when you're gone because you're the only person who brought balance to the place everybody liked you you're the brightest star in the room the best smile in the room you brought um, emotional stability to everyone in the room I feel like they're really going to hate that you're going but I feel like you need to do what's best for you um, if we are looking at this in love I feel like somebody here is manifesting something and it feels like it feels like somebody now feels as though they have the confidence to manifest moving forward in a relationship. I feel like it's this, this king of cups here. We do have the nine of wands. So this person I feel is looking for their star. They're looking for someone who's confident, who's self-made, who doesn't need me. I don't want I don't want codependency. I don't want someone in the DMs every day. I don't want someone who's going to demand my time and demand the morning and night text. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's not into all of those shenanigans. I feel like we're dealing with a grown-up here. <laughs> somebody who who I feel is okay to, you know, chat with you for a little bit and then go on their way and maybe a week later y'all come back together. It's the beginning of something, the very very beginning of something. Tell me about the King of Cups, please. Tell me about this King of Cups. What should we know about the King of Cups for Pisces? We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. I really do believe that this person is single and happy. And I feel as though their biggest worry is that they will find someone who will do them dirty like the last person did. The Seven of Swords is here and the Eight of Wands. And so I feel like the reason that 
they communicate with you from a distance through text or once in a while or once a week or something like that. It's not only because it's brand new, but because they want to take it slow. They want to know if you're very honest with them or if you're honest about your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Because Pisces, I feel like you're showing up as somebody who's quite happy with themselves. The sun is here, right? The high priestess. You're showing up as very confident, really knowing who you are, um, having a knowing, right? It feels like this uh, King of Cups is also someone who's single and happy. So it's like this person is not in any hurry at all to find a long-term relationship. They know that whatever is worth waiting for is the thing that's worth waiting for. Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is here with the High Priest. High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, we're going to move really slowly towards stability here. So I feel like it, 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 for those of you who have not met anybody new yet, this feels like a new person. It feels like somebody who's new, and it also feels like this is sort of a foreign situation for you. I don't think you've ever met somebody like the King of Cups who's willing to take it so slow. I'm talking about so slow that they might not even hold your hand for six months. I'm talking really slow. So we've got the Three of Pentacles, and when the Three of Pentacles shows up to me, it's like we're going to spend a lot of time getting to know each other. Are you on my side? Am I on your side? Is this a cooperative or collaborative situation? What sort of thing do you do for work? Maybe it's similar to what I do for work. It's like you're networking or um, in, a, in a group of people. Maybe you meet this person through friends of a friend or through a friend of the family. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. But the Knight of Pentacles tells me that somebody is willing to hold back, um, to be practical, to be patient, to um, in order to be able to build whatever we need in order to get to this place, which is we will find out slowly whether or not we are compatible enough like soulmates. So I feel like somebody here is is willing to take whatever time they need to take in order to get to the victory. I feel like this person is, they're good, you're going to get to a place after a, a period of time where this person is going to give you a lot of attention um, and cheer you on. I feel like this person um, is somebody who wants to make sure that you're not carrying any unnecessary burdens. Uh, six and four is ten. I feel like burdens are being dropped between you as you get to know each other. It does really feel like old time romance. I'm going to say OG romance. If you're of age like me, I'm 56, right? They, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. The one who opens the door, the one who um, wants to pursue slowly, the one who's very respectful. Like it's 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 nothing like it is now on the apps, swiping left or right. Maybe I like the way you look and like not knowing what, what is in there at all. Tell me what the, um, tell me what the outcome is for Pisces, please. We do have the uh, Page of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like the King of Wands is the one who wants to pursue. And so we do have somebody who is fire and water, maybe temperance, they could be a Sagittarius. Um, but somebody here who is um, holding themselves back because they're very attracted to you and they don't want you to think that that's what they're here for. Feminine or masculine, they don't want you to think that that's what they're here for. So I feel like somebody here is, we're looking at... Um, Seven of Pentacles, which is throwing seeds of intention, being patient, intentionally um, nurturing something, right? Until we get to the place where we can express our fire. That's what it feels like here. Yeah, this is leading to some sort of a, a commitment here. And it feels like the person that you're dealing with, whether it's the King of Wands or the King of Cups, possibly, um, it feels like, or maybe it's Libra energy, whoever you're dealing with, this person is undecided about whether they want to start new a new passionate relationship. They're at the place of preparation, right? There's two two wands here. We're we're um, preparing possibly to get out of the Eight of Swords. Somebody is thinking about you nonstop. So once you meet them, if you haven't met them yet, or if this is someone you just met yesterday or last week, it feels like this is somebody who is thinking about you a lot and thinking about boy, this person has changed my mind. Maybe I do want to be in a commitment. I feel like you're you're changing the mind of someone who didn't think that they ever wanted to be in a commitment again. So your person uh, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have Aquarius here. We have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We do have Leo energy a couple of times. We have Libra. Um, we do have Taurus energy here, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. I'm going to leave that right there. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. It looks like somebody's holding back their fortune. It's like they're holding back their um, 
do I really want to invest here? Is this really what I want? Somebody's making a decision, right? A decision is about to be made. Um, and it's being made slowly. Look at all these pentacles, right? We've got four, five, six pentacles. Right now, we're in the talking stages, right? Getting to know each other, being honest and truthful. This person's feeling you out. I want to know, are you as smart as me? Some people are attracted to the mind first rather than the outside of someone first. And I feel like this person is, you know, attracted to the outside because of the King of Wands. But I feel like they're also, this is someone here who's decided, I need to know that this person is intellectually in a place that I want them to be in. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's incredibly smart. We do have three kings here, I'm just going to say. We have the King of Swords, the King of Cups, and the King of Wands. The only one we're missing is the King of Pentacles. And I don't think that this person is really showing you any of their pentacles right now, because right now they're using all of their pentacle energy to figure out whether or not they want to have some sort of a connection that is more than just talking to you, right? More than just the cerebral connection. A decision's being made for an investment, but should I do it? I'm not sure. Someone is kind of shut off, shut down. Um, but it feels like Six Pentacles is telling me that they're they're giving you this reciprocal energy in terms of the King of Swords, but is it going to go any further? I feel like this person is probably a soulmate, and they probably feel this with you because if they are the King of Cups, it could very well be a psychic energy. We do have the Emperor that has just shown up, so now the King of Pentacles is here as well. So as, as I was thinking, three, three kings were here. I feel like you are showing... I feel like this person who's about to pursue you is an emperor, and the emperor will pursue slowly because they are the authority. They are the person who wants to stay in control. They're very solid and stable, right? And um, this person is usually in control. So I think that they want to keep control of the situation, but I think that you're going to find out sooner or later that you have more in common with this person than you think you do. The Six of Cups can be a last life thing, right? It can be feeling like I've known you forever, but I feel like you two are going to have a whole lot of things in common here, you and the Emperor. Yeah. I'm going to leave that right there, Pisces. It's kind of a lovely reading. I'm going to go for now. Thanks so much for being here, Pisces. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye.